How much do I love you guys? I just paused the 12-12-12 concert for Sandy just to talk to you. That's how much I love you guys. I'll say it now and I'll say it later. Go to the YouTube page for that. Donate to the Robin Hood Fund if you can. If you can't, try and get other people to do it. Like this guy. Can't do it, but I want you guys to because, you know, I can't. There you go. Let's move on to the other news of today. Such as Obama coming out for the first time today. He decided that, you know what, those Syrian rebels that are gaining traction in Syria more and more and more, well, if they actually take over, the Obama administration and therefore America will acknowledge them as the legitimate rulers of Syria, therefore putting the... Uh, stranglehold on Assad just a little bit more to, you know, you can give up. It's okay. Syria will go on. Just end the violence. Give it up. And maybe that was me talking. I don't know. Yes. And then there's Francis Prime Minister who came out today and specifically targeted the people who have been leaving his country because their taxes are so high now and they're, they're moving just over the border to Belgium so that they can still live near their precious France, which is a pretty good place all in all. Just, you know, some of the people are weird, like the Prime Minister. But uh, he came out and slammed them because they left the country so that they didn't have to pay the ridiculous taxes that they're levying on the rich people in France. Therefore, you know, you know, they're not they're not afraid of being poor. They're just afraid of being taxed and they're being greedy. And really, truly, it's just that they don't want to be punished for being successful. When will they learn? When? Nobody knows. And we've got two levels of drug smuggling for you. That's right. Weird stuff. First up, in Spain, a woman that was traveling from Panama to Spain uh, was uh, pulled aside because uh, 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 she set off some alarms. And, well, all of a sudden they realized that uh, she is smuggling approximately three pounds of cocaine in her boobs because she had fake ones. That happened to be made primarily of cocaine. That's really going to be fun to, uh, you know, get the court order to extract that from her. Uh, I mean, if it looks good, then whatever, but that's just tacky. That's, that's like using babies for bombs, man. Not even cool. Yeah, I equated drug smuggling to terrorism because, you know, there's a direct link there. But I'm getting ahead of myself because over here, a little bit closer to America, where most of my viewership, it matters. Down in Mexico, they had this bright idea, you know, we're having trouble crossing the border. We're getting stopped by all the policia there. You know what? Let's just load cannons with cans of drugs and fire them to the other side. Apparently they can fire these cans of weed really far into uh, into the states. So, uh, you know, they're shelling America with weed, which, you know, now it's starting to become legal in other places. So, you know, they're starting to be able to grow their own and thusly uh, cripple the Mexican drug trade. Hopefully let's do that. I like crippling uh, criminals. It's It's a good feeling right here. I mean, what? So I didn't want to end on a death note today, but we do have a death. Ravi Shankar died at 92 from, well, being really, really, really old. For the uninitiated, Ravi Shankar was a sitar player, and not just a sitar player, he was a sitar player like Jimi Hendrix played guitar. He was fantastic at it, and in fact, back in the 70s, he got together with the Beatles and was like, hey, let's do songs and stuff, and made some really fantastic music with them. Uh, most notably for me, first one I ever heard with uh, his name attributed to it was Across the Universe with the Beatles, and that version of it honestly, truly changed my life as a musician because all of a sudden I heard it's, it's you know, real soft plucking sounds instead of, you know, hard rock or, or whatever, and it just... You just, it takes you away, and, you know, not in the drug sort of way, but in the music sort of way, which is way better, in my opinion. He was a big activist for freedom in Bangladesh and things like that, which, you know, is a little bit close to my heart right now. Oh, you know, I'm really just not happy that he's gone. Just another one of the greats that has come to pass, as it were.
But I wanted to end today's news with something really good. So I'm going to tell you that all of a sudden we have a wonderful thing called souped up immune cells. At least that's what their uh, lame man calling it, because uh, they're taking people who have leukemia, they're taking their white blood cells out, their T-cells, and uh, these T-cells are supposed to attack the cancer and the leukemia that's in the blood, but they fail to do so because of the nature of the threat. And so they extract some of the T-cells out of the people, and they, well, in layman's terms, they give them special forces training, and then put them back into the person and say, go forth and annihilate this horrible disease. And right now, it's starting to look like they are really, really, really succeeding, which makes me really happy because, you know, leukemia is horrible, cancer is horrible, and the closer we are to killing cancer is the closer we are to, uh, you know, solving problems where we kill people with other things. I think, kind of, sort of, maybe not, but I hope. I always hope. That's, you know, fault almost, but not really. But that is the last of the news that I have to talk about today. Like I said at the beginning of the show, it is the 12-12-12 benefit for Sandy. Go on YouTube, watch it, it's cool, and donate to their uh, charity of choice, which I believe is the Robin Hood Fund. Uh, there's links to it uh, down there. Go watch and re-watch. And, you know, it's, it's good things. Be, be good to each other. And uh, as always, be aware. Thank <laughs> you.